Welcome to my YouTube channel, fellow tech explorers. Ready to transform your Android phone into a powerhouse of productivity? In this video, we'll show you how to install Ubuntu Genome on your Android device. Say goodbye to limitations and unlock a new world of possibilities. Let's dive in and make your Android experience extraordinary. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out when we upload a new video. Let's begin. Welcome back. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update Tamox packages. Do that with the pkg update command. And after updating Tamox packages, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this script from GitHub. I'm going to be pasting this script in the description below. You're going to copy and paste this script on your terminal, okay? And then you're going to click on enter. Now, if you've given storage permission to Tamox before, it is going to ask to change your storage. Say no. Click on N, which is no. It is going to check your architecture and um, it is going to tell you the ARM version you're using. As you can see right here, it says mine is ARMF. So I'm going to be pasting a script for ARMF here. But if yours shows AMD64 or ARM64, I'm also going to be pasting the link in my blog that you're going to copy and paste for your ARM version. Okay, so make sure you check it. So now I'm going to input the link for ARMF and um, I'm going to click on enter. Okay. And you're going to wait the download is going to you know take a while you're going to let the download finish and um, as you can see it says you can now start your distro with ubuntu.sh scripts next time okay so i'm going to cancel but if you get this error just click on ctrl plus c on your keyboard ctrl plus c and it is going to you know claim cancel that this thing so now as you can see we have the ubuntu.sh file there so i'm going to edit the script now you're going to type nano ubuntu.sh okay nano ubuntu.sh and you're going to scroll down you're going to scroll down and you're going to locate the dev command right there so you're going to under the dev command you're going to click on enter and then you're going to paste um this script here I'm also going to be leaving this script in the description below so please make sure you check the blog and you know enter all of the scripts finally use the command control x to exit this um, this script then you're going to log into ubuntu with the command bash ubuntu.sh okay and you're going to click on enter and after that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to update your ubuntu repository update it with the apt update command and um okay once ubuntu is updated the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to install the genome files and its extensions okay so you're going to be pasting all of this command on your terminal i'm going to leave them in the description below in my blog so make sure you go there and copy them so that you don't have to you know stress yourself on all of this okay so um tiger vnc tiger vnc server and then i'm going to install the boss and i'm going to install get it okay you're going to click on enter and this is going to take um, a little bit of time, give it the time it needs to install. Then once the installation is finished, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the genome shell extension and we're going to install both Yaru icon and Yaru teams. Okay. And we're going to install Yaru GTK also. So do that with these commands. I'm going to be leaving the commands in the description. Just go to the description and copy the commands easily. Okay copy the commands easily from the description and once you're done with that the next thing we're going to do is um we're going to create a startup script for vnc server to do that make a new directory and name it dot vnc do that with the command make gir dot vnc okay now in the vnc file we're going to create a startup file so to do that you're going to type the command nano.vnc forward slash x startup so the startup file is going to be saved in the vnc folder okay nano.vnc forward slash x startup you're going to click on enter and then you're going to paste this script in the startup file okay this is what you're going to paste in this startup script exit this script with the control x command and um give it executable permission with the ch mode plus x command and click on enter now the startup 
um, script has been created. Let us be sure that it has executable permission. And as you can see, the file is all green, so it has executable permission. Now we're going to clear and we're going to connect to VNC server. Now to connect to VNC server, just simply type the command VNC server. Okay? VNC server. And if you're connecting for the first time, you'll be required to create a password. So create a password you can easily remember and, you know, verify that password and click on enter. Okay? Now this is it. The VNC server has been started. As for me, I use the NetHunterX application. Um, some people prefer the VNC viewer application, whichever one you, you know, prefer to use, use it. But as for me, I'm using NetHunter case. Your connection type will be in basic VNC and your local host is going to be the local host to ratio one. So your local host, which is in the VNC connection setting, should be local host one. And then your password should be the VNC password you created earlier. So I use the password one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to enter that now and I'm going to click on connect. And here we are in the genome, you know, the genome desktop. So um, it doesn't look professional yet. So I'm going to set it up now. The first thing is I'm going to change my background. Right click on your screen and click on change background. And once the settings this thing open, navigate to background and, you know, change your background wallpaper to whichever one you like. And um, after changing your background, the next thing we're going to do is... um. We're going to change our team and icon from the default team and icon to the Yaru team, okay? So to do that, just simply go to the appearance bar and change it from default to Yaru, okay? So Yaru, and um, I'm going to close this section now. And that has been changed. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open our terminal. Open our terminal. You're going to be pasting these two commands. I'm going to be pasting in the terminal, in your terminal. So... I'm going to also leave this command in the description below. This command is going to take the doc, the genome doc to the left position. And the second command is going to make the, you know, the doc in full screen mode. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to activate the doc in our extensions folder. So um, locate extensions in your application and, um, you know, locate Ubuntu doc inside the extension and, activate it and as you can see the ubuntu dock has been activated so from now on you can you know just easily add applications to the you know to the dock so let me show you an example of how to add application to the dock as you can see the vim application has been added to the dock successfully and the terminal has been added to the dock and if you want to remove you can just click easily right click and remove you know an application from the dock so this is how you do it if you want to install firefox i'm going to leave a video in the description on how to install firefox on ubuntu watch that video and you know use that video to install firefox and if you want to fix sound on ubuntu i'm also going to leave a video in the description that i already made earlier on how to fix those mm -hmm. so after you're done with this the next thing you're going to do is always make sure to close your vnc connection when you're done so to do that use the command vnc server dash q ratio one and that is it so um that is it about this video thanks for watching if you um, encounter any problem, let me know in the comment section below. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.